Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Drones are changing the modern era warfare and China is leading in this area. In contrary, India has very limited number of armed drones. However, India is now planning to boost its drone strength by adding 30 MQ-9 Reaper armed drones and upgrading its fleet of 90 Huron drones to carry out offensive missions taking the total count to 120 armed drones. The procurement of armed drones and upgrade of surveillance drones will further sharpen India's offensive capabilities as till date Indian military only operates drone for surveillance and reconnaissance mission. This is going to provide India edge over its adversaries such as China, Pakistan as Predator B and Huron drones are best in its class. The Defence Minister Rajnath Singh led Defence Acquisition Council will soon take the final call on acquisition of 30 MQ-9 Reaper 10 each for their three services Army, Navy and Air Force from US worth $3 billion. We may hear the final decision regarding this acquisition by this week. At the same time, Indian Air Force long pending project Cheetah is soon to become reality under which Indian Air Force is planning to upgrade the fleet of its Heron drones with a cost of Rs 5000 crore. Under this project, India's Heron drones are to be upgraded and armed with the help of Israel to carry out offensive missions against the enemy. Last year, a committee was formed for the cost negotiation for the same and now the negotiations are almost over and final decision is awaited and we can say it's in the last stage of decision making. Under this project, 19 Huron drones of three services that is Air Force, Army and Navy will be upgraded with laser guided bombs, air to ground and air launched anti-tank guided missile. The Heron drone upgrade will include enabling the capability of satellite navigation and equipping with more advanced and specialized sensors. There are possibilities of engine upgrade as well because in order to arm the drones, its payload capacity must be increased. However, the details of the new engine are still unknown. After the upgrade, the armed forces would be able to keep an eye on enemy locations from far distances and would also help them in controlling the drones through satellite communication system. It will give Indian military services the ability to not only undertake more specialized and long surveillance missions but also precision strike capabilities. The Herons will have the capability to carry and launch air to ground precision missiles. Talking about the specifications of Heron drones, it is a medium altitude unmanned aerial vehicle and can carry up to 250 kg of weight including a thermographic camera, airborne, ground surveillance, visible light, radar systems, etc. The Huron UAV is capable of returning to its base autonomously in case of lost communication. It has a maximum speed of 207 km per hour with a rate of climb as 2.5 m per second. It has an impressive endurance capability of 52 hours and can fly up to 33,000 feet high in the sky. Talking about the engine, it has one Protax 914 engine based on four cylinder in which two piston is air and two is water cooled. The engine can generate a power of 86 kW. The drone has three propeller blades, two on the wing and one on the tail. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.